unveiling. In Statuary Hall in the nation's capital, the likeness of the 33rd president hailing from Missouri, Harry S. Truman. His grandson was there to see it. My grandfather was, uh, I think, slightly embarrassed by monuments and by statues. He was a modest man, but he would be honored and humbled if he were here today. This moment has been years in the making. Kansas City artist Tom Corbin was commissioned to sculpt it, and he wanted it to reflect the kind of leader and person Truman was. Knowing uh, President Truman's uh, personality and character, I wanted to portray him as being approachable. And so we finally came up with the idea of him descending a series of steps, almost coming down to greet the visitor. The Truman Library Institute raised more than $400,000 to bring the statue to life. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver says Truman definitely earned his place in history. Uh, he is already at a point now where many of the historians are, are declaring him to be one of the greatest presidents of all time. President Truman is remembered for guiding the world through some of the nation's most turbulent times, including World War II. But those closest to him hope this likeness reminds us of something more. I've always said when people ask what I think his greatest accomplishment was, I always think it's to remind us that a farmer, a small businessman, a citizen soldier can rise to the highest office in this land and do a better job of it than almost anybody else. Kelly Eckerman, KMBC 9 News.